I need some more props. Ugh. Hey Ross, where my money makes money, addictions are expensive. Addictions are expensive. Whether it be snorting pop rock candy or cocaine, smoking a cigar weed or a cigarette or weed is expensive. Drinking a Coke, drinking a 40, drinking some Hennessy, drinking some Moet, drinking some Glenfiddich, drinking some Scotch, drinking some Louis the 18. You get you get what I'm getting at. I'm talking about some good drinks though. Addictions are expensive. So you're addicted to alcohol. Get help. Because we don't talk about this most on this channel, but I really had to think about it. What's really soaking up people's money? Addictions. Entertainment. When I'm talking about entertainment, whether it be your cable bill, form of entertainment, your outings, form of entertainment, or your addictions. You're addicted to Coca-Cola. Remember people back in the day? Like my awesome uncles were addicted to Coca-Cola because guess what they had in there? Cocaine. <laughs> so they was addicted to Coca-Cola. My uncle used to drink uh, Coca-Cola. Like he'll drink like 12 a day. So I like... Uncle Dennis, why do you have all that Coca-Cola? Shit, man, I just drink one of every meal and the four snack. But they took the cocaine out of it. But sodas are still addictive. But whatever is your addiction, heroin, crocodilia, uh, uh, hydro, bug, whatever you want to name it, mushrooms, uh, uh, hallucinant drug, it doesn't matter your vice. It doesn't matter your drug. It doesn't matter your alcohol. If it's an addiction... It's soaking up all your money. It's soaking up your life. It's destroying your life. Now, you may think, well, yeah, it's destroying my life internally, like your organs and blood and vessels and veins and all those things, capillaries and arteries and, you know, you get what I'm getting at. I'm no doctor. My wife's a nurse. But anyway, so what I'm getting at, addictions are first hazardous to your health, dangerous for your body. Secondly, they're expensive. I mean, yes, heroin and crocodilia, the lowest form, probably the cheapest drugs, but an addiction is constant payout to your drug dealer. Now, if there are any drug dealers listening to the channel because they're taking the money that they're getting for people, giving them drugs, and they want to make more money, then stop. Then stop giving these people these drugs. And I know that's a way of living. And it's not about drug dealers at all, but this is about addictions. They're soaking up your money because your money can't make money because you're applying them to your addictions. For people out there smoking cigarettes, which is probably one of the hugest legal addictions out there, stop. Do this. Calculate how much money you spend on cigarettes a week. Calculate how much money you spend on cigarettes a month. Tie it all up. Take that money, only that money, and invest it and watch you make money. Some of you, oh, I buy a carton and the carton lasts me two weeks. And that's a lot of smoking. It only lasts you two weeks. But a carton, uh, I don't know the last time I seen it. I'm going to say anywhere from $25 to $45. And if you're buying two cartons a month, that's almost $100 you could be investing. Now, those out, who, those out there who's vaping, same difference. Same difference. Vaping oils and evaporating oils to smoke or vapors, whatever. This goes for you too. It's still an addiction. Oh, I put this level of nicotine in it and blah, 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 and it smells great. It's an addiction. Whether it be cocaine or crack mushrooms, acid. Yes, I'm talking to you guys who are looking at this channel and who are doing drugs. I want you to stop doing drugs for just a few reasons. First and foremost, I don't want you to leave this earth like that. I don't want you to leave this earth sick. Okay, I want you to leave this earth happy. I want you to leave this earth healthy. Okay, because when you're doing addictions, when you're addicted to drugs, not only does it kill your body, 
It only, you know, not only does it kill your mind, it kills your connections. It kills your family. It kills your friends. It kills interactions and connections that could be in the future all because you're addicted to a drug. That drug doesn't love you. That drug hates you. You know why? Because every time you take in that drug, it's destroying you little by little. It's like a parasite. It's like a parasite. Remember that episode, I think it was Spider-Man, where that parasite attached itself to Spider-Man, and then Spider-Man turned black. He, had, he was stronger, he was faster, but he was dying inside. It was changing his psychology of his mind. He started to going really crazy in the mind until he got that symbiote, that, that, that leech, that parasite off of him. And it took him time to regain who he was. If you guys can remember that comic book or uh, cartoon, whatever it was. But think about that. That's what drugs are. He was addicted to that parasite and you're addicted to that parasite. It sticks his stuff to you. How does it stick itself to you? Because it changes the psychology of your mind. You start seeing things differently. You start thinking differently. And you're addicted to it. You have to put it down. So not only does it affect your health, it affects your mind. And then secondly, you know, thirdly, I mean, because secondly, it affects all your relationships, whether it be family or not. Thirdly, it affects your money. It affects your money. And I had to go there. I had to go there because it affects your life. It affects your family and your friends and your connections. And then it affects your money. Because I want you to get your money up. I want you to live a fruitful, multiplied life. Increased life. It doesn't matter if you wearing the beat up Chuck Tellers. But guess what? You got $100,000 in the bank. You have $100,000 that's investing and compound interest and compound dividends because you put the drugs down. You put the pipe down. You put the blunt down. Now, for those legal states that's smoking weed, am I saying don't get your weed? I'm not saying that. We're talking about addictions. Now, if you're smoking cigarettes and you tell me, oh, the only time I smoke cigarettes is when I drink, you're still addicted. You're just fooling yourself because every now and again, you smoke a cigarette when you're not drinking. Unless you're drinking every night and you're having a glass of wine. Well, I'm having a glass of wine. I'm drinking. So your, your mind tells your brain or both are in cahoots together. And so you smoke a cigarette. You're addicted. So stop the addiction. Go get help. If you don't have the money to get help, look for those free services that they offer almost everywhere and get the help that you need. Get the help that you deserve so you can get your life back on track and you can start making this money. If you think that nobody cares that's, that you know of, I want to let you know, regardless of what you look like, I care. And if I care, I'm pretty sure there's other people that care for you as well. So take care of yourself. Stop doing drugs. Stop being addicted. Get the help you need. This is Ross World. We don't want addictions to hold us back, to limit us for having a healthy, fruitful, family-oriented, loving life with money in our pockets. I'm out.